How does the solar system appear? Our solar system is the only one that we know of that supports life as we know it, although it is only one of billions of star systems in the cosmos. It comprises of one star, which we name the Sun, eight planets, billions of asteroids, and billions more comets. But that's not all, there is a lot of gas and dust scattered throughout the solar system. Some recent studies attempted to plot the solar system's contents in order to estimate its shape, and scientists discovered that from the outside, the solar system resembles a deflated croissant. How is this even possible? Come and find out, explore the wonders of our solar system and all of its amazing features. March 13th, 1989. Six million people are still without power, it occurred in Quebec. During the nine-hour blackout that followed, millions of inhabitants were left in the dark and without heat, wondering what was going on. This is what occurred. A powerful solar storm unleashed a massive electromagnetic pulse on the Earth, culminating in the Great Quebec Blackout. Because of the storm's strength, electrical grids in Canada and the northeastern United States were knocked down. New York City, Boston, Montreal, Toronto, and Ottawa were among the cities affected. The storm was created by a coronal mass ejection, which is a massive cloud of highly charged particles emitted by the sun. These particles, which may move at speeds of up to 6,000 kilometers per second, can interfere with the Earth's magnetic field, causing electrical networks to fail. This is exactly what happened in 1989, causing power disruptions throughout hundreds of thousands of square kilometers. To prevent another blackout, electricity grid operators created better protection technologies such as sun shields, early warning systems, and surge protectors. Regardless, the 1989 Great Quebec Blackout is recognized as an illustration of how Earth's electricity infrastructure can be vulnerable to strong solar activity. It's plain to see that the sun and its components are very wild and unpredictable, from the churning clouds of gas and dust that circle the sun to the geomagnetic storms that shimmer over our atmosphere. One of the most fascinating occurrences is solar wind. This is a continual stream of particles emitted from the sun's heated surface, and it is responsible for many of the unusual and amazing events that occur in our area of the galaxy. Our atmosphere, our planet's magnetic field, and even the formation of our planets are all affected by solar wind. The magnetic field of the Earth is critical to life as we know it. Without it, the solar wind would pound our planet's surface, tearing down the molecules in our atmosphere and rendering us extinct. We are protected from the worst of the sun's energy by our magnetic field. Solar storms are a wilder and more powerful phenomena. These storms are solar eruptions that can create radiation storms, solar flares, and even interfere with our electronics. Solar storms can have a significant influence on our world, interrupting communication and power systems, and even putting lives in danger. The solar system is a fascinating and even perilous environment to study, and the sun and its components are continuously surprising us. From solar wind to solar storms, it's critical to keep a watch on our nearby star and everything it's capable of. When it comes to the shape of the solar system, most people imagine a flat circle. However, they are unaware of the true shape of the solar system, which is an oval. This discovery was made in the late 1800s when scientists first employed optical telescopes to gaze out into space. Astronomers were taken aback when they discovered that the solar system does not resemble the perfect circle described in textbooks and representations. Instead, it is oval in shape, with the eight planets spinning in an elliptical fashion around the sun. Since its discovery, the solar system's shape has been a source of amusement and curiosity. Some say it resembles an egg that has been slightly broken open, while others compare the planets to its yolks orbiting the sun. True, our solar system is elliptical, but only when it comes to planets and asteroids. When we consider the solar system's gas, we see that it is formed like a deflated croissant. 
This is due to the aliosphere, a space bubble consisting of charged particles that is held together by the solar wind, which spreads out from the sun. This bubble contains all of the planets, asteroids, comets, and other objects in the solar system. The aliosphere works as a shield, keeping high-energy particles from interstellar space from entering and damaging our solar system. Because some of the particles entering our solar system are strong enough to fracture through hard rock, this shielding is vital to the survival of all matter within the solar system. The shape and size of the aliosphere within this bubble change throughout time as a result of the ever-changing environment in space. Here's how astronomers discovered the solar system resembles a croissant. First and foremost, they required aliosphere observational data. Unfortunately, these are few and far between. Data from Voyager The Voyager spacecraft, launched in 1977, only recently reached the edge of the solar system. It has been gathering data and in-situ edge of the solar system data points during its journey. The IBEX data. Another project, the Interstellar Boundary Explorer, IBEX, explored cosmic rays hurtling towards Earth from the furthest reaches of the galaxy, as well as another sort of particle, the energetic neutral atom, ENA, which originates in the solar system. The mission's goal was to map the boundary between the solar system and interstellar space, as well as to learn more about the behavior and composition of the interstellar medium's materials. IBEX was equipped with two major equipment to research the interstellar environment, the ENA camera and the High Energy Telescope. The ENA camera investigated energetic neutral atoms, whereas the High Energy Telescope employed energy spectroscopy to explore the solar system's interstellar environment. During the mission, IBEX made numerous spectacular discoveries, including as observing a ribbon of ENA radiation at the solar system's borders and mapping the interstellar medium with its instruments. It also considerably increased our understanding of the solar system's connection with interstellar space and taught us a lot about how our galaxy functions. The mission was a huge success, and it has greatly improved our understanding of interstellar space. Cassini's Information Cassini, which was operating between 2004 and 2017, also featured instruments that assisted in the study of these particles. It has identified a variety of particles throughout the solar system, including protons, electrons, oxygen, and carbon. Depending on where they are, these particles have varying temperatures, densities, and energy levels. Cassini also discovered that various particles release different amounts of light, providing information on the solar system's makeup and activity. Furthermore, it has assisted us in better understanding the chemical and physical properties of these particles, as well as their involvement in the formation of the solar system. This remarkable instrument has also revealed how planets and moons' magnetospheres interact with solar wind, providing insight into the processes of these interactions. Data from New Horizons Furthermore, NASA's New Horizons mission has produced measurements of pickup ions, which are ionized particles in space that are picked up and moved along with the solar wind. Pickup ions are substantially hotter than other solar wind particles due to their separate origins from the solar wind particles pouring out from the sun. When it came to converting data into prediction models, the scientists envisioned cold and hot particles as two fluids mixed together. When two such fluids are placed in space, they will not mix, according to NASA astrophysicists, but will most likely evolve separately. So they separated the two components of the solar wind and modeled the resulting 3D geometry of the aliosphere. According to NASA, considering the solar wind's components separately, combined with earlier works using the solar magnetic field as a dominant force in shaping the aliosphere, created a deflated croissant shape with two jets curling away from the central bulbous part of the aliosphere and notably lacking the long tail predicted by many scientists. Whatever the true geometry of the aliosphere is, an impending NASA mission, the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, or IMAP, will be invaluable in answering these concerns. 
IMAP, which is scheduled to debut in 2024, will map the particles pouring back to Earth from the heliosphere's limits. IMAP will build on IBEX's methodologies and discoveries to provide fresh light on the nature of the aliosphere, interstellar space, and how galactic cosmic rays enter our solar system. Furthermore, this expedition will assist us in learning more about how the Milky Way works and how its various components interact and impact one another. This expedition will help us understand the structure, composition, and dynamics of our local interstellar environment. It will undoubtedly be a significant step in comprehending the processes that have shaped the solar system and the Milky Way. It looks like a fascinating quest of discovery. The solar system's croissant shape tells us that the universe's nature is enigmatic and ever-changing. Even now, new planets, stars, and galaxies are discovered, making the solar system even more complex and difficult to comprehend. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember what a lovely area you live in, you are probably the chocolate in this tasty croissant. Alright everyone, this video has come to an end, thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button and turn on the notification.